please welcome our 2010 candidates for governor of the state of New York. Seat number four, Freedom Party candidate Charles Barron. If you are elected governor, you're going to be walking into a fiscal mess. We've heard from a lot of New Yorkers who are just plain fed up. They really need to balance the budget and create more jobs. They need to straighten out Albany, cut, cut back their expenses. I feel that they're just talking loud and saying nothing, and I want to see something. Okay, New York is facing an $8.2 billion deficit in the next fiscal year. And according to census data, there's well over $13,000 of state debt for every man, woman, and child in New York. Name three or four specific state programs that you would cut and how you would minimize the impact of those cuts on ordinary people. Candidates, you'll have 90 seconds each for this question. And then after everyone's spoken, you'll have 30 seconds of rebuttal. Baron, a minute and a half for you as well. Well, first, I'd like to say that there should have been a Latino person, an indigenous person, and an Asian person asking questions, too, because this is a diversified state. I don't accept the premise of your question. I don't think we should cut. We already cut to the bone. How about a progressive taxation? There are those in this state that are making millions of dollars. I would propose a progressive taxation package. If you're making 300,000 to 500,000, 1.5%. If you're making 500,000 to a million, 2.5%. If you're making a million to 5 million, 3.5%. And if you're making 10 million or more, you should pay more. We're already cut to the bones. It's time for us to get the wealthy, and they make up less than 1% of this population. Andrew Cuomo and Palladino, not only are they going to cut your programs and your vital services, they're also going to cut union pensions. They're also going to cut money from health care for unions. They're going to freeze union wages because it's easy to be a political bully and take it out on the poor, struggling, working class families and unions. How about taking it out on the rich? They have more, they should pay more. They don't have the courage to do that. We have to get rid of political cowardice and those who are controlled by corporate interest. It's time for us to say to the hard working class families in this state that when you retire, we're going to protect your pension. Okay, when you're your working, time, Mr. you're going to get a living wage. Mr. I Hawkins, not cut minute and a half programs. for you, sir. This question, candidates, we're offering you another 30 seconds if you would like. 30 seconds? Well, first of all, if you do the stock transfer tax, if you do a commuter tax, if you do taxation in a progressive way, not hurting people, there will be money for programs that are vital to our people. We cannot continue to cut our way out of this. We must begin to say to those who have it, you must contribute. When you look at education and you look at health care, those are the two biggest items. We can no longer say we're going to cut Medicaid, we're going to cut workers, health care workers. We have to say Thank we you, will Mr. protect Barron. them Mr. with Hawkins, a progressive taxation for you. Plan. Do you favor a tax mandated, I mean, I'm sorry, do you favor a state mandated cap on local property taxes? And if so, what specifically would you do to help local governments and school districts find savings to cover their lost revenues? Mr. Barron. It is time for us to look at education in a real way. Education is a large part of the budget, and it should be paid through a progressive taxation process. We are looking at an education system that is shutting down schools, turning our schools into test-taking mills so scores can go up, frustrating students and parents. We need a curriculum, a curriculum that shows the true nature of this society and is a culturally relevant curriculum. Black history should be put in our curriculum. The Underground Railroad curriculum should be a part of the curriculum. Education has been turned into a battle between charter schools and public education, stealing money from our public education system to start a charter system that only covers maybe a, a thousand or a hundred thousand of the 1.1 million children in New York City. So I would not support a cap on the property tax. I would restructure the real property tax structure so that commercial property and the utilities can pay more of their fair share of the property tax. That money can be dedicated to education. We're looking at a chancellor in New York City who needs to be fired. 
He failed our children. They're closing our schools down. We don't have a recreation program, a good athletics program, music, nothing that attracts students to school. They're not motivated to learn. They're not teaching them about the greening of the economy and green jobs. Thank and you, Mr. Barron. And they need to Barron. teach them about health care. Mr. Kwan, 30 seconds for a rebuttal. Mr. Barron. The state owes the black and Latino community with the campaign for fiscal equity. We took them to court. Pay us our billions of dollars for the schools in our neighborhoods. You owe it to the black and Latino community. They owe us that. Consolidation means layoffs. Cuomo's going to be the king of layoffs, trust me. If he gets in office, that's why you better go with me. I'm telling you, this guy gets in, you're going to be laid off. Your pension is gone. Your health care is gone. We must get to a single-payer system Thank with you, the health care. And we got to protect yeah. against yeah. layoffs. Yeah. Thank you. The environment is a big issue for an awful lot of New Yorkers these days. Joining me right now is Adrian Esposito. She's with the Citizens Campaign for the Environment, a group that claims 80,000 members statewide. Adrian, what would your question be for all seven of these candidates? Well, good evening, candidates. As I'm sure you're aware, New York is facing some critical environmental challenges. From the hydrofracking for natural gas, degradation of our oceans, estuaries, and uh, drinking water, also very much needed upgrades to sewer treatment infrastructure, as well as massive uh, cuts to environmental enforcement and environmental monitoring staff, most notably in the DEC. My question is, what would your administration do to make sure that the environment, that the economic success of New York is consistent and complementary to clean water, clean air, clean beaches, and open parks. Thank you. All right, candidates, for this question, you're going to have 60 seconds. There's going to be no rebuttal. And we begin with Mr. Cuomo. Uh, thank you. The Native Americans have a proverb, which if I could paraphrase is, we don't inherit the earth from our parents. We're loaned the earth by our children. So being good public stewards of the environment, I think, is paramount for government. Um, and New York State has had a great tradition in this area. We need to do more, and we need to do it quickly. Uh, exploring renewables, I think, is the future. It's also a great economic future for this state. Green jobs, we're doing a lot in upstate New York with wind power, with solar power. We need to do a better job of transmission. We need to get the power from upstate New York, uh, from western New York, low-cost power from Canada down to the metropolitan area in New York City. That's basically a, a challenge of trans, transmission lines. You're exactly right on the enforcement vis-a-vis -vis pollution, whether it's air pollution, water pollution. We've been very aggressive in the Attorney General's office on enforcing the pollution laws against polluters, but you can never let your guard down for a moment, and we won't. Okay. Candidates, again, 60 seconds for this question. Mr. Barron. Notice Mr. Cuomo didn't say he would ban hydraulic fracturing because his business cronies make too much money on that. Hydro that is hydro, uh, hydraulic, it's hydraulic fracturing. Hydraulic fracturing is a phrase that's used. You should check it up and okay. go to the dictionary. Go ahead. But anyway, he will not ban that because his business cronies make money out of that process of digging thousands of feet below the surface, fracturing rocks putting all kinds of pollutants in it to keep them to get open and seeping out more gas. That can create seismic activity, particularly in Syracuse and other places, and it pollutes water, and that water's coming to New York City, polluted. He will not fight against that, because anything that benefits his business cronies, he's not going to fight against. So I would suggest strongly that you get him to ban hydraulic fracturing, hydraulic fracturing. Candidates, our next issue, New York State lost 367,000 jobs during the recession. The unemployment rate doubled to nearly 9%. Small business owners were socked especially hard, caught by rising taxes and other costs. One of them is Zachary Thompson. He owns a security company in Yonkers, and he has this question. I've been trying to expand my business for a year and a half now, and it seemed hard for me to get a business loan. So if he was elected governor, how can you help a small business owner like me? All right, candidates, how would you answer that? For this question, you'll have 60 seconds for your answer. Again, no rebuttal, and we begin with Mr. Barron. Well, first of all, I would look at the procurement, procurement contracting in the city of New York is $17 billion. We did a study and found out that black companies get less than 1% 
of that. And in the state, it's even more billions, and we get less than 5%. The racism is in the budget and the allocating of contracts to black businesses like this gentleman on the film here. We need to make sure that whenever there's procurement budgets being developed, that the minority and women's business owners get their fair share of that budget. Right now, it is going to white male companies in New York City. 42% of the males are white males in the city contracting. They get 72% of the businesses. We have 16% qualified, have all of the licensing that they need. They have the bonding, the insurance. They get less than 1%. Thank you, Give Mr. Give us Barron. our fair share of the contracts.